Last year, uh, it was the 20th anniversary of Killing for Death. As a result of the COVID, we realized that we could not uh, carry out the celebrations as we were thinking uh, on, on face to face. And we developed a number of events. So what it, uh, this is the result of, of an analysis of what happened during the celebrations. And basically what I want to highlight is the fact that the celebrations uh, strengthened the collaboration, the peer-to-peer, -peer, it was in a space to growth community and certainly in a space for learning. Um, well, this is uh, a quick overview of the history of, of, of the community that was born, as I said, uh, in 2000. And part of the, as part of the exercise, we did this, um, came for that journey to, to show the new members more or less what was the history of the, of the community. What we did is basically as of the month of, actually in the month of uh, March, we started to talk about developing virtual sessions and that they actually were initiated in the month of May. Uh, we had a number of knowledge cafes. So from May to the end of June, we had, a, a, as I said, a number of cafes that were coming more or less uh, from requests that we had in the, within the group. So uh, issues that were, there were of interest of the community. And then we closed with a big celebration event that happened in the second and third of July. Uh, part of the feedback we got from these sessions were that they wanted to continue having these knowledge cafes. So we initiated a second launch, a second part of, of events as of the 24th of September that lasted until the end of uh, December and actually has continued during 20, uh, 2021 uh, since January and, and it's ongoing. Um, I would say that the main uh, if, um, well, you can see the number of participants here um, as per the number of registration. It, it initially, if we had 25 participants, well, in the in the last one that I have here highlighted in, in January, we had 150. Basically, there has been a growing interest and a, con a, continuous, a continuous steady participation of key uh, that would people that would say champions that had been more and more engaged within the community. But there is, there is a constant uh, response, positive response from the community members uh, towards the activities that the community is organizing uh, through the Knowledge Cafes. And now you can see all these Knowledge Cafes in the YouTube channel that we have. Um, the value to the members, well, I as I said, it, it really helped to, to create this space of peer support. It was, um, the, the cafes were responding to needs that were identified. So we, we asked for a, a, a topics, we, we respond to this and we ask again, and we continue to deliver as per, as per the needs where I, uh, as they were identified. It was a space to growth community. It was a space for fun. It was a space to, to actually put a face to, to names that the community has been exchanging through long-term uh, on writing. And, and many of these members were not able to participate in face-to-face -face events because of the cost of traveling and the time uh, space. So, so basically, this was really an opportunity to put a face, to get to know people, and to to growth and strength the community, and certainly in a space for learning. What I would things that I would add. Uh, well, as I said, it has been a space to strengthen community. It responded to the interest, and I think this is what one one of the added values. It has been, um, the members have, uh, has taken ownership through the participation, but also through the contributions that they have um, been engaged throughout. And as I said, it's representation and engagement has been constant and it has been growing over the time. It has been more inclusive because it allowed people that otherwise would have not participated in these sessions. And one of the things we have continuously 
uh, done is uh, uh, create quick after action reviews after every session to, in, to make sure that not only we respond to the needs, but we improve as a, as a, as a, as a, as a community, as the core team keep, keeps uh, a humble approach to, to respond to the needs and to improve the way these, these topics are, are provided to the members.